Hi and welcome to another video on youtube.com slash home edition. This video is about how to figure out your optimum page file size on your Windows 7 computer. Now let me show you something real quick. These are all the applications that I have open. Okay, now let me bring up Task Manager real quick. Whoops. Okay, now I have 8 gigs of memory on my computer. Okay, here are my cores. So there's 8 cores. And they're all going a little crazy right now because I opened about 35 applications at the same time. Which is it's pretty nuts. And right here, you can see I'm using 6.54 gigs of my memory. Which is a lot, but I do have, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 35 applications open. And let me click on these real quick. This is what I'm using to capture this 1080p video. This is Task Manager. This is a cat video. This is a resource monitor and task manager. This is um, Internet Explorer with three tabs open. This is Microsoft Word. This is the desktop. This is Adobe Illustrator with two different files open. Now here are two different PDFs. Here is a resource um, manager for my motherboard. Okay, here's a digital photo program that came with my camera. Here is a program that came with my, with my printer. This is for my backup UPS. Here is another uh, program that came with my printer. And just to show you, here, my double click. Look, I'm just, look how quickly it changes the picture. There's no slowdown at all. So this speaks pretty highly of Windows 7 and my i7 2600K processor. So, you know, here's my email program, Microsoft Outlook, and you know, I, I'm also running a virtual computer, okay? And just to prove it, I'm gonna go to Google, you know, Today's date. Oh, I guess that's not working. There we go. All right, and that is running Windows XP within there. So basically, I just wanted to show you that I'm running all these applications, okay? And my computer is not even taking advantage of the page file really. There might be some programs that are using a little bit of the page file because that's how they were made. But I'm almost at my limit. I'm using 7 gigs of memory right now. But this is a scenario that I would never really find myself in. I'm not going to open up 35 applications just to get some work done. I might, I might actually open up half. You know, I might open, you know, 15, 17 programs in an extreme scenario. Um, Right here is a architectural program where you could ray trace houses. Basically, this is an extreme scenario. I have 35 programs open just to show you that most people will never open up 35 programs at the same time and they will never really take full advantage of all that memory they have installed, which is a good thing. It really means that you don't have to have a huge page file. Now I'll show you how to change your page file. I've already did this on my computer, but basically I click the Windows Start Orb. I right click Computer, I click Properties, okay? And right here I click on Advanced Settings. And under Advanced, I go to where it says Performance, I click on Settings, and then I click on Advanced, okay? Right here it says Virtual Memory, I'll click Change. Now, you might have noticed it says it's currently using 10 gig. That's because I didn't apply my latest change. I disabled the automatic managing of my page file for all drives, and it was really configured on my drive C, which is a solid state hard drive. And I don't really want to bog my solid state hard drive down with a page file, so I removed the page file from my drive C. Instead, I manually set up a 2 gig page file on my drive D, which is a normal SATA hard drive, okay? So all I have to do is basically reboot and those changes will take effect. So I just wanted to show you that even in the most extreme situation, you know, you found yourself in the need to open up 35 programs 
for whatever reason. Number one, look at this. This thing is it's pretty much as fast as my fingers are. I can open up anything I want really quickly. And I am taping the 1080p high definition video at the same time. So number one, the i7 2600K processor, it's really awesome. And um, no, having all these things open, it's not even really breaking a sweat. I mean, it's running at 43 degrees Celsius, which is not bad. And I do have a slight overclock. I have a 4.2 gigahertz overclock running right now. It's supposed to be running at 3400 megahertz or 3.4 gigahertz. So, so there it is, folks. If you have no idea where to set your page file, I recommend you open up every program that you could possibly have open um, at the same time on your computer and then maybe even factor in an extra 20% to the figure you see right here in the memory so if I'm using 7 gigs so I multiply this by 20% 7 times 2 so that's another 1.4 gigs so I need 8.4 gigs okay and to go to be on the safe side I configured a 2 gig page file um, and a hard drive that's not my solid state hard drive just you know I think it'll give me a little performance boost so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were also a little amazed um, at how much you could do at the same time with a Windows 7 computer with an a Intel i7 2600K processor. It really is impressive. I mean, I have everything under the moon opened up on my computer and I'm still opening up applications. <laughs> and, you know, my computer is not even hesitating, not even a little bit. So now I'm going to close each application and show you how this figure right here is just going to start dropping. Let's close everything one by one. And you can see we are already at 6 gig. And that figure is going to keep dropping. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to show you this really cool program, Win Directory Stat. This is a great program, by the way. I'm gonna make a video just on this program alone, but basically, it shows you how much each directory on whatever hard drive you pick is taken up in space. So, for instance, and it shows you the information graphically. So, on my drive C, my program files. Uh, x86 is taking up the most amount of space at 27.6 gigs and you can drill down and find out okay you know what's the directory in here that's taking up the most amount of space so anyways more on that in another video Okay, so we close everything except the program I'm using to capture this uh, 1080p video. And of course, we have Task Manager. So, as you can see, as we started closing the program, the memory allocation just kept dropping and dropping. And so has the, you know, CP usage. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually kind of fun to make. I I actually didn't think my computer w was going to be able to handle this um, extreme situation as well as it did. So I'm pretty impressed with the computer. Um, you know, no blue screens. I opened up a billion programs. I would actually love to see someone do something similar on an Apple computer. I mean, I know it's running on a Unix type of operating system, which I know is very stable. But um, you know, I think Windows has come a long way and I would love to see someone do something very similar. I would love to see them open up like 35 applications on their computer. So if you're an Apple fanboy or you know of an Apple fanboy or maybe even a Unix fanboy or whatever, Linux, go ahead and forward this video to them. Uh, I'm just really curious to see um, how their computer performs. So. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it a little bit interesting. And, you know, go ahead and click the thumbs up because it took me a lot of time to uh, edit the footage for this video. And also, become a subscriber. Why not, right? <laughs>